much as he uh, thought maybe he was gonna go in on Razork there, but it didn't happen. Meanwhile, in bottom lane, a lot of damage there to Vulcan. First blood, Fnatic in the 2v2. And that is Rox that shows up as well on the Leona. They have the Leona Misfortune bot lane. They know Vulcan flashed earlier. They have it on the timer, and they see the moment instantly punished down there. Love the, the Gore Drinker still just for how beefy it makes you in team fights. Oh boy, Calry getting jumped on here in the bottom lane. No flash, no way out. Upset gets another. Razark with forced to go for a team fight. You can't look for the side. And th there's no real reason to give it away as Jojo jumped on. Jojo gets jumped on. He's going to be exploded. The timing is terrible. 25 seconds on the Drake. He won't be alive in time for it. Evil geniuses lose their mid laner at the wrong time. They only without him is, is huge. Yeah, but I mean, uh, props to Rox as well. He's yes. been wanting this for so long. I mean, not just Worlds, but playing at the LEC stage as well. And now he's finally here and he's really delivering. He usually was a guy that would be the shot caller. That would take charge. So my main worry seeing him be here was the fact, well, how are you going to be coming into a team filled with veterans, but you're also the guy who usually dictates our obvious tall voice. Is there going to be anything conflicting? So far, it really doesn't look like it. And it's great to see a guy just step on a stage, fly to a different country on the other side of the world and just deliver. And in everything seems to just be going Fnatic's way. Yeah, and I feel like how, how let's say, bold is Fnatic really in terms of elevating their lead? Because quite often, once again, I'll we'll try and look for invades. Might not have to. Oh boy, Inspire could be in a pretty precarious situation here. Yes, he is. Now we got even more problems. It's bullet time. Razor gets another. And that's got to just be an easy Baron for the LEC team. And I was talking. Are, well, five digits behind. We'll just leave it that way. As Fnatic, they don't even need the Baron. They're going to push this up. They know they got the pressure elsewhere. They try to go in with Inspired on EG's side, but it just doesn't matter. It's too much money. And they're beating them to death with the wallet. Double kill back up an upset. Fnatic. Get four. This game's over. It's more than 15% that Chiefs get. I <laughs> get them up to at least 20. Goldberg, that's not up to you, my friend. It's yes. going to be up to Raze. It's going to be up to Chiefs. It's going to be up to them putting up a fight. Right now, Raze is getting chunked on and rendered down. Very well played there by Fnatic. I'm willing. Flash is available for both Rux and Upset. Yeah, here we go. And I just want to say, play doesn't work out. But look at the vision. Oh, okay, that's the re-engage. Flash, dredge line, teleport coming as well. Here comes Wanda, the twisted advance forward. Where's the nature's grass? The trees start rolling. That's a root in place of one. Aladarx going away for two. One, two kills for Fnatic as Aladarx sports some time and the death rate takes him down. There's one reply from Tapoon. Take it, take it, take it. Lee Syndrome not followed by Resort despite landing the key on the turret. The nature's grass comes out, roots up one or two. Wanda's going low. Aladarx jumps forward. Tapoon does two. No needlework available to him as he used out of the bottom lane engage. Humanoid's been exhausted, forced to flash for his life. The engage comes out and Tally is dead. Add one to Fnatic's Tally. A fantastic fate call. Secured, upset oh. with the triple, with the quadra, looking for the pentakill. Not going to find it just yet. To Boone's golden. And the pentakill! Great <laughs> Mexico. Upset gets a pentakill. What a fantastic finish. Four Fanatic.